Hey there, and welcome back to Online Tech Tips. Today, I'm diving into a fascinating topic, Intel's killer network servers. Now, I know the name might sound a bit intimidating, but don't be afraid. We're here to uncover the truth and help you decide if this service is a keeper or if it's time to bid it farewell. So let's get started. First off, what exactly is the killer network service? Well, it's a background process created by Intel that comes bundled with their awesome killer network cards. These special Wi-Fi cards are designed to reduce latency and lag for an incredible gaming experience, which sounds pretty cool, right? But here's the thing. Some users have reported issues like a laggy computer or high CPU usage caused by the killer network service, which is not so cool. So the big question is, is it a virus? Luckily, there are no worries there. It's a legitimate background service triggered by Intel's killer network cards, and it's not meant to harm your system. Now, let's talk about why the killer network service might cause high CPU usage. Its main job is to monitor outgoing network traffic and allocate resources to ensure top-notch performance, especially for gaming. However, this constant analysis of network traffic can put a strain on your CPU, slowing down your entire computer, especially if you have a less powerful processor. Now, the burning question. Is it safe to stop the killer network service? Absolutely. Unlike essential system components or security applications, this service isn't crucial. You can disable it manually without any worries. In fact, you can replace it with normal Intel drivers and still have full functionality on your PC. The only thing you might miss out on is the killer card's improved ping for all you gaming enthusiasts out there. So let's talk about how to uninstall the killer network service. It's as easy as saying goodbye to the killer performance suite, which includes the service. On Windows 10 or below, head over to the Add or Remove Program section in the Control Panel. If you're using Windows 11, simply go to the Apps tab in Settings. Search for Killer Performance Suite and uninstall it just like any other app. Now, let's weigh the pros and cons. Is the killer network service worth keeping? I mean, it's not inherently harmful, but it can sometimes cause high CPU usage, just as we said, and impact your system resources. If you haven't noticed any significant network performance gains from the Killer Performance Suite, it might be best to bid farewell to this app. However, if you're a passionate gamer and you haven't experienced any issues, just leave it the way it is. Who knows, it might even help reduce lag in your multiplayer games and improve your KD ratio. Until next time, keep gaming, have a blast, and see you next time.